హాయ్ ఈ వీడియోలో మనము నాగర్ కర్నూల్ ఎస్ఏ వన్ క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్ విత్ ఆన్సర్స్ డిస్కస్ చేద్దాం బిఫోర్ డిస్కసింగ్ ఆన్సర్ వీ విల్ హ్యావ్ ఎ లుక్ ఆఫ్ ద క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్ సెక్షన్ వన్ లో సెవెన్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఉంటాయి యాజ్ వీ నో ఈచ్ క్వశ్చన్ క్యారీస్ వన్ మార్క్ ఫైన్ ద జీసీడి జీసీడి అన్న హెచ్సిఎఫ్ అన్న ఒక టెస్ట్ రైస్ జీసీడి అంటే గ్రేటెస్ట్ కామన్ డివైజర్ ఆఫ్ థర్టీ సిక్స్ అండ్ సెవెంటీ ఎయిట్ బై యూక్లిడ్ లెమ్మా సో దీని సొల్యూషన్ ఏంటో విల్ డిస్కస్ లేటర్ సో ఏ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు టూ ఫోర్ సిక్స్ ఎయిట్ బీ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు త్రీ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ సిక్స్ ఫైండ్ ఏ యూనియన్ బి రైట్ ఫైవ్ పవర్ ఆఫ్ ఫోర్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు సిక్స్ ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ ఇన్ లాగర్ థమ్ ఫామ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఇన్ ఎక్స్పోనెన్షియల్ ఫామ్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు కన్వర్ట్ ఇన్ టు లాగర్ థమ్ ఫామ్ ఫైన్ ద వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ కే ఆఫ్ టూ ఎక్స్ స్క్వార్ ప్లస్ కే ఎక్స్ ప్లస్ ఫైవ్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో ఇట్ హ్యాస్ టూ ఈక్వల్ రూట్స్ దిస్ ఈస్ అ క్వశ్చన్ ఫ్రమ్ క్వాడ్రటిక్ ఈక్వేషన్స్ ఫిఫ్త్ టూ సెట్ నల్ సెట్ అండ్ సెట్ విత్ జీరో ఆర్ విచ్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ సెట్స్ ఆర్ ద సేమ్ ఆర్ నాట్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ సిక్స్త్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇఫ్ టూ ఎక్స్ ప్లస్ త్రీ వై ప్లస్ వన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో అండ్ ఫోర్ ఎక్స్ ప్లస్ కే వై ప్లస్ టూ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో ఆర్ టూ లైన్స్ ఇఫ్ దే ఆర్ కన్సిస్టెంట్ అండ్ డిపెండెంట్ దెన్ ఫైన్ ద వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ కే సో దిస్ ఈస్ ద క్వశ్చన్ ఫ్రమ్ పేర్ ఆఫ్ లీనియర్ ఈక్వేషన్ అండ్ టూ వేరియబుల్స్ విల్ సీ ద వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ కే లేటర్ సెవెంత్ క్వశ్చన్ బై ద ఫిగర్ ఫైన్ ద నంబర్ ఆఫ్ జీరోస్ ఆఫ్ పాలినామెల్ సో ఈ డయాగ్రామ్ లో ఎన్ని జీరోస్ ఉన్నాయని అడుగుతున్నాడు సో దిస్ ఈస్ అబౌట్ ఫస్ట్ ఎక్స్ ఫస్ట్ సెక్షన్ మూవింగ్ ఆన్ టు ద సెకండ్ సెక్షన్ సెకండ్ సెక్షన్ హ్యావ్ సిక్స్ క్వశ్చన్ ఈచ్ క్వశ్చన్ క్యారీస్ టూ మార్క్స్ టోటల్ ట్వెల్వ్ మార్క్స్ ఫర్ దిస్ సెక్షన్ ఎయిట్ ఫైన్ ద ఎల్సిఎం అండ్ హెచ్సిఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ కామ థర్టీ సిక్స్ అండ్ ఫార్టీ ఎయిట్ బై ప్రైమ్ ఫ్యాక్టరైజేషన్ మెథడ్ సో విల్ ఫైన్ ద ఎల్సిఎం అండ్ హెచ్సిఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ నంబర్ let p of is equal to x square plus 2x plus 1 find the value of p of 0 and p of 1 it is one of the important expected question from polynomials check whether minus 3 and 3 are the zeros of the polynomial x to the power of 4 minus 81 how to check this one is the given polynomial we'll see later draw the venn diagram of a minus b and b minus a well the hypotenuse of a right triangle is 5 meters the difference in length of other two sides is 1 meter find the length of two sides last question in section 2 the larger of two supplementary angles exceeds the smaller by 20 degrees find the angles ide question textbooks lo exceed by 10 degrees in students slight change in the number this is the question from pair of linear equations in two variables now moving on to the third section which is very important section long answers first question as expected the question is from sets if a is equal to x such that x is a multiple of 2 x less than 20 x belongs to natural number so e a b c anedi set builder form lo ichadu manam rooster form lo convert cheskoni a union b a intersection b b union c b intersection c cheyal students so daniki option question choice question find the zeros of the polynomial p of x is equal to x square plus 5x plus 6 and verify the relationship between the zeros and the position this is one of the most important question in polynomials they have given for four marks usually this question will appear for two marks prove that root 2 plus root 5 is irrational number or x square plus y square is equal to 14 xy then prove that 2 log x plus y is equal to 4 log 2 plus log x plus log y so other two questions from section 3 is draw the graph x square plus 6x plus 8 and find the zeros of the polynomial so the most important and scoring area is graph a is equal to 2 3 5 7 b is equal to 3 5 7 9 then draw the venn diagram of a union b a intersection b a minus b and b minus a 2x plus 3y is equal to 1 3x minus y is equal to 7 solve the linear pair by any method so there are three methods for you substitution method elimination method and graphical method cross multiplication method is also there four methods but we will see graphical method for this question usually in board exam they prefer of asking graphical method so we will solve this pair of linear equation in graphical method students find the quadratic polynomial if the sum of its zeros is 7 and the product of zeros is 12 and from the given data write four quadratic polynomials now let us discuss the answers for this question let us discuss answers section 1 first one hcf of 36 and 78 by euclid division lemma 
So Euclid division number lemma is nothing but a is equal to b q plus r, where a is nothing but dividend, b is nothing but divisor, q is quotient, and r is remainder. So whenever there are two numbers like this, students, you have to take the bigger number and write this bigger number as thirty six into two plus six. If you are wondering how this step has came, you can easily take a step like this seventy eight bigger number. 36 smaller number you have to take like this 36 twos are 72 78 minus 72 is 6 so 78 can be represented as 36 into 2 plus 6 which is a division rule which we have read in the pre, uh, primary classes so 78 is nothing but 36 into 2 plus 6 it's a division rule again this 6 will become divisor and this 36 will become dividend So six six za thirty six thirty six minus thirty six is zero. So this thirty six will become dividend in the next step, and six into six divisor into quotient plus remainder is zero. So if the remainder is zero, this divisor will become GCD or HCF. Sometimes they may ask HCF, sometimes GCD. Don't don't get confused, friend. Both are one and same. Let us discuss the second question. A is two four six eight. B is three four five six. Find A union B. A union B is nothing but the elements which are in A and B put together will get A union B. So A union B ante A lo enna elements so B B lo enna elements so kalipirayal stress. But one thing is you should not repeat the elements. So four four two times repeat A A set lo B set lo. Abi two times badalu one time I repeat rayal. So that is the one thing you have to keep it in mind. So third question answer is write five power of four is equal to six twenty five in logarithm form. This is in exponential form. We have to convert this into logarithm form. So it is nothing but log six twenty five base five is equal to four. Fourth question find k if two x square plus k x plus five as equal roots. If roots are equal, then b square minus four ac is equal to zero. So this is the question from quadratic equation. We know a, which is x square quotient, which is two; b, x quotient, which is k; c is a constant phi. So replace this a b c value in the formula. B square minus four ac is equal to zero. B is k, so k square minus four times two into five is equal to zero. Four, k square minus four to the eight, eight five is a forty. K square is equal to forty. K is equal to root forty. So the value of k is root forty. Fifth question: Empty set and set with zero are equal or not is a question. So they are not equal because this is a empty set which is denoted with phi and it is a set with one element that is zero. So both are not equal. Sixth question: Two x plus three y plus one is equal to zero. Four x plus k y plus two is equal to zero are consistent. Find the value of k. So we have to find this. Value of k. If lines are consistent, a one by a two is will be equal to b one by b two will be equal to c one by c two. So a one is two, a two is four. So two by four is equal to three by six. We can equate any two ratios. So two by four is equal to three by k. Obviously, if two ratios are equal, you have to do cross multiplication, students. Two into k is equal to four. Three is a twelve. K will be twelve by two, which is six. So k value is six. So how many zeros will be there in this graph? And write the type of polynomial. So this curve is meeting the x-axis in three places: one, two, three. Therefore, number of zeros here are three, and it is called cubic polynomial. We'll discuss section two now. Six questions, two marks each. Total twelve marks. So find the HCF and LCM of twenty four, thirty six, forty eight using prime factorization method. So twenty four can be written as two cube into three. Thirty six can be written as two square into three square. Forty eight can be written as two power of four into three. So HCF and the highest common factor of this is two square into three, which is twelve. Three square, which is one forty-four. 
सो दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पॉलिनोमिक चैप्टर पी ऑफ एक्स इज एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू एक्स प्लस वन पी ऑफ जीरो सो टू फाइंड पी ऑफ जीरो वी हैव टू रिप्लेस द वैल्यू ऑफ जीरो इन द प्लेस ऑफ एक्स वेर एवर एक्स इज देर रिप्लेस विद जीरो स्टूडेंट्स सो कीपिंग द अदर टर्म्स एज इट इज जीरो स्क्वायर प्लस टू इंटू जीरो प्लस वन जीरो स्क्वायर इन था जीरो टू इंटू जीरो इज जीरो प्लस वन जीरो प्लस जीरो प्लस वन इज वन स्टूडेंट्स P of one is nothing but one square plus two times one plus one, which is four. Represent a minus b and b minus a using Venn diagram. So this part, which is shaded with green color, is a minus b, and of this part is b minus a. Check whether minus three and three are zeros of x power of four minus eighty one. So manamidi. जीरो सा कादा चिच्चे आलेंटे फर्स्ट पी ऑफ एक्स तीस कॉल स्ट्रेंड्स विच इज गिवन एस एक्स पावर ऑफ फोर माइनस एटी वन सो पी ऑफ माइनस थ्री एक्स प्लस तो माइनस थ्री बैठ डाले इफ द आंसर इज जीरो देन माइनस थ्री इज अ जीरो ऑफ द पॉलिनोमल इन दिस केस माइनस थ्री रिप्लेस चेस से पी ऑफ एक्स लो Twelfth question is a question from quadratic equation. Length of smaller side you have to take as x, bigger side x plus one. In the case the difference of longer side and shorter side is one. So manaki x smaller side kelly dikha pati x assume jaise ano bigger bigger side kelly dikha pati x plus one x plus one. So hypotenuse is given as five. So we know the Pythagoras theorem. A C square is equal to A B square plus B C square. Simple calculation. X plus one whole square. Elaborate, elaborate chal. A plus B whole square formula. A square, x square plus two x plus one or something. So x square plus x square is two x square plus two x plus one, which is nothing but two two x square plus two x minus twenty four. All the terms in this quadratic equation are divisible by two. Therefore, I can write as x square plus x minus twelve. So now we have to do the factorization to get the zeros. So we all know twelve times one is twelve. Now take the factors of twelve in such a way. If you multiply, you have to get twelve. If you add or separate, you have to get plus one. So four threes are twelve. Four minus three is plus one. So it is nothing but factorization or method or splitting middle middle term method. So there are four terms now. First two terms we will take x common x plus four. Second term on minus three common x plus four, so x plus four common on the round of the angle, so x minus three is on the separate ga x plus four is equal to zero and x minus three is equal to zero, so x will be minus four and x will be three. So as the side cannot be negative, we'll assume the side as smaller side as three and the bigger side as four because x plus one and the three plus one four are not. So the Three sides of a right angle triangle are three, four, five, which makes a Pythagoras triad. So this is a question from pair of linear equation in two variables. We don't know the two angles in supplementary, which is x and y. Let us assume larger angle as x and smaller angle as y. According to the question, x plus y is equal to one eighty. Because sum of two angles in complementary, sorry, supplementary, <clears throat> that means the question. Let the larger angle will be taken as x, smaller angle is y. We don't know the two angles. Sum of two angles in a supplementary will be equal to 180 degrees. Sum kabati plus x plus y is equal to 180. So, manakya round angles theli the kabati. One angle should be taken as x. The other angle will be taken as y. So supplementary angle slope two angles calculate the one eighty on dalik. That's the reason why I have taken x plus y is equal to one eighty. And the difference of two angles is given as twenty in the question. So x minus y is equal to twenty. So we'll use elimination method. We will eliminate y. Two x is equal to two hundred. Obviously x will be hundred. Two hundred by two hundred out on the. So substituting this x value. In first equation, man first equation ante x plus y is equal to 180. So x value is 100. 100 plus y is equal to 180. Y is equal to 180 minus 100, which gives you 80.
So the larger angle is 100, smaller angle is 80. Moving to section 3 essay questions or long answers. They have given the question in set builder form. I have converted into rooster form. So multiple of 2 less than 20. So multiple of 2 less than 20 in student 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. 20 these code because they have given clearly less than 20. So B is a set multiple of 3 less than 25. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24 is a set B and C is a set multiples of 10 which is less than 30. So multiples of 10 named students 10 and 20 less than 30. <clears throat> so first A union B. So the elements which are called so not common the elements which are both in a and b you have to combine and write so don't repeat the elements similarly a intersection b is the elements which are common in both a and b a lo b lo common unna elements se raayal students 6 a lo undi 6 b lo undi andukane a intersection b lo 6 raasanu 12 is also common in a and b 12 i wrote here and 18 is common in both sets, so 18. So 6, 12, 18 is nothing but A intersection B. So B union C and the elements which are in B and C combinedly written is B intersection C. So this is the B intersection C. Similarly, sorry, B union C. Similarly, B intersection C and the elements which are common in both B and C is B intersection C. So B low, C low, C low A low, then low common the level students so phi is the set empty set is the answer for b intersection c to prove root 2 plus root 5 is a irrational number first we let us assume it is a rational number so rational number this call and the rational number is p by q so we'll square on both sides root 2 plus root 5 is p by q whole square and converting this form into root 10 which will be taken as p square minus 7q square by 2q. Here this right hand side are integers. Therefore, it is a rational number. So if right hand side is a rational number, obviously root 10 is also a rational number. But this is contradiction to our assumption that root 10 is an irrational number. Therefore, our assumption is false. Therefore, root 2 plus root 5 is a irrational number. 16th question draw the graph x square plus 6x plus 8 and find the zeros. So, quadratic polynomial ki zeros find out challenge. Okay, procedure on students x place low minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 replace chali. Answers ni okay, order pair laga thi If I keep minus 4 in this quadratic polynomial, I will get as 0. If I replace minus 3, we will get minus 1. If I replace minus 2, you will get 0. In the 0, I will explain just so that there will not be any confusion for you. So, wherever there is x, I have to replace with minus 2. Minus 2 square plus 6 into minus 2 plus 8. Minus 2 square value is plus 4. Plus into minus is minus 6. 2 is 12 plus 8, which is nothing but 12 minus 12 is equal to 0. So minus 2 bet kunte y value, sorry, <coughs> x square plus 6x six plus 8 value 0 out the, minus 1, 3 out the, if you replace 0, it will be 8, if you replace 1 in this quadratic polynomial, it will get 15, 2, 24, 3, 35. So I got the ordered pairs, now these points should be plotted in the graph as shown. So clearly this parabola is meeting x axis at minus 4 and also minus 2. Therefore, this minus 4 and minus 2 are the zeros of the quadratic polynomial. 